Hello, I'm Sarah. Welcome to day one of your kettlebell boot camp challenge. We'll be covering some of the basic kettlebell movements today. We need one to two kettlebells. Let's get started. First, we'll begin with the goblet squat. Thumbs go through the handle of the kettlebell, fingers wrap around. Set your feet about shoulder wide with your toes slightly out. Spread your toes, push your big toe down, and balance the weight between the balls and the heels of the feet. Take a big breath in, brace your core. Then lower your hips down into the squat as deep as you can, maybe below parallel, maybe it's a little higher, and then drive back up. We'll come down nice and control. So you can press knees and toes, same direction, sit the booty back, keep your core tight, and drive it up. Breathe in, hold it, squat down, breathe out. Here we go, let's do 10. Down and up. Lower and drive. Push through the balls and the heels of the feet equally. Try to keep the chest lifted. Down and up. Drive up. Four more. Push. Down slow. Three. Last two. Press. And one. Drive it up. Kettlebell swing. Now you grip the top of the handle. Feet can come a little bit narrower for the kettlebell swing. To initiate the movement, it's a dip. You send the hips back slightly, loading the glutes and the hammies. And then you drive to throw that kettlebell up to about shoulder or eyeball height. Squeeze your buns. Load and squeeze. Load, explode. Exhale, boom. Here we go, 10, nine, eight. Send energy up the body, seven, six, five, four, Squeeze, last two, and one. Bring the kettle back to your chest. We're back into 10 more goblet squats. 10, press it up. Nine, drive standing. Eight, seven, press. Six, you got it. Five, four, press up. Three, second set of kettlebell swings in two and one. Right into your kettlebell swings for 10. Push, eight, squeeze, six, four, keep breathing, three, two, one. Third and final set of your goblet squats. Drop it down for 10. Nine, strong core. Eight, balance the weight in the feet. Seven, six, all the way, five, feel the burn, four, three, one more set of swings, in two, and one, right into your kettlebell swings. Then we get a little rest. You got it, up, six, five, four, three, two, and one, take a rest, get your breath, heart rate's up a little bit, great job, next set is lunges, we'll hold the kettlebell in the right hand at your shoulder, the front rack lunge, reverse lunge, step back with your right foot, lower your knee all the way to touch the ground if you can, and then press back up, hold your balance, keep your gaze forward, bring it down, Press up. You can take this hand out or on your hip. Exhale to drive up. Bring it down, core tight, ribs stacked over the hips. Five more. Four. You see the obliques with that off balance kind of a three, two, and one. Step forward, switch sides. Back with the left foot, lower your back knee down, drive it up. Control on the way down, power on the way up. I think six more. You've got it. Last four. Push. Three. Two. Come on. Stand up, step forward, kettlebell comes down. No 
do kettlebell deadlifts. Bend the knees, hinge the hips, touch the kettlebell down just between the feet. Feet are about shoulder wide and stand up. Lower glutes and hammies, touch the ground, press the stem. Shoulders back, core tight, and press. Inhale, hold the breath, exhale, drive back. Keep your breath at the top, brace, bring it down, and drive. Five more, spread the toes, balance the weight, down and up, push. Second set of our kettlebell deadlifts. If you want to add weight, grab your second kettlebell. Feet under the hips, maybe a little wider. Load, bring it down, flat back, strong core. Drive. Keep your head in line with the spine. Press. Five more. Focus on your form. Make every rep count. Four. Three, push through the big toes. Two, and one. All right, now back to the lunges. We'll make it a shoulder press. Single arm, press it up to the right shoulder. Step your right leg back, lunge. Everything's down, everything presses up together. Inhale, exhale, push. We'll do suitcase deadlifts. So feet are a little bit narrower, and now we touch the kettlebells outside the feet. So bring it down, drive up. Really similar, loading the legs, keep the core and spine braced to neutral, and driving to stand. Just like you're picking up grocery bags or suitcases. Press. We got five more. Lift with your legs. Four. Three. It's really heavy, big breath. Brace, pick it up, and release the breath at the top. Two, one, good job. Set your kettlebells down, take a big breath in, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Relax your head, shake it off. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to shins, lengthen your spine. Exhale, high plank. Put your hands, step back. Hollow body, frontal hips in, bottom ribs in. Pop up through the upper back. Firm your quads. Hold it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, down dog. On one, hips to the sky. Big breath in. Breath out. Look forward, step through to your seat. Navasana, boat pose. Pop your shins up, chest up, hands off. Balance. Straighten your legs. Arms overhead. Five, four, three, two, one. Tuck it in and roll down onto your back. Grab your kettlebell. Place it on a pillow if you have, on your hips. If you have one, you can place it right above the pubic bone. If it's not comfortable, grab something soft or fold the towel. Place your feet hip wide, knees up. Inhale, prepare. Squeeze the core, exhale, drive the hips. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press it up. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the buns. The glutes and hammies work together. Six more. Five. Control the lowering phase. Four. Especially when first learning exercises. Slow and control. Three. Press up two. And one. Hold it up. Isometric hold. Glutes and hammies working together. Stabilize the pelvis. Pelvis. Breathe. Three. Two. One, lower down. Sit one kettlebell to your side, other one next to your chest press. Keep your feet planted, palms face your feet, press up from the shoulder, lower back down. Simple. Elbows about 45. Press up, bring it down. Press and lower. You can stay right here or add the hips. Lift and squeeze. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, drive to up. Lower, lift and squeeze. Lower, lift and squeeze. Now hold the hips up and keep pressing for 10, 9, 8, 7. Get that burn, stay strong. Six more. Five, four, three, last two. And one, set your kettlebells down, hug your knees into your chest, take a little rock side to side. Now bring your knees to 90, to find tabletop. Hands on your knees, push your knees up into your hands, create resistance, press your low back into the ground, try to tuck your frontal hips in towards you. Squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in, three, Two, one, take a rest, plant your feet, lift your hips, open that up, breath in, breath out, lower down, legs up the wall, straight up from the hip, they can be bent a little bit, try to get them straight, push through the heels, inhale, lower the right leg, exhale, lift it up to meet the left, inhale, lower your left leg, exhale, lift it up, right comes down, drive it up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one slow, now we'll pick it up, right, lift, left, right, left, right, and left, now alternate it, walk it out, push through the heel, feel that nice stretch on the backs of the legs, got some good glutes and hammy work today, five, Four, three, two, and one. Bridge to release. Stretch the core and bring it down. Knees in, back side to side. Quick stretch 
figure four, right ankle over your left knee, reach through, pull it in towards you, use your right elbow to push your knee away. Relax your shoulders. Two breaths. One more. On your exhale, let your legs fall to the left. Tee out your right arm, look to the right. Rinse out your spine. One more. Slow that heart rate down, bring it back to center. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Reach through, gently pull it in towards you, figure four. A nice, easy stretch on the outside of the hip and thigh. Try to keep the hips level on the ground. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Legs fall to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Rinse it out. Slow down. Bring it back to center. Knees in your chest. One more time. Give yourself a big, loving, grateful hug. Inhale. Exhale, Shavasana. Release your legs long, your arms fall open by your sides. Tuck your shoulders, close your eyes, and enjoy a couple minutes of rest and stillness as your body soaks up all the benefits of your workout. Let your breath be easy. Feel all that good energy moving through your body. Relax. You can stay here as long as you like. If you're ready to move on with your day, give a little wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a full body stretch, arms and legs long. Pull your knees in, grab behind your knees. Rock yourself up to a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart, honoring your practice, your workout, your strength. Thank you so much for joining me today. Great job, I'll see you tomorrow.